citizens of the Republic, welcome back to another reaction slash review. Today, we're back with the Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 5. Very highly anticipated, as always. <laughs> the series has been great. I've loved this series. Seasons 1 and 2 have been great. Season 3 is off to a phenomenal start, I would say. Um, lots, lots of lots of things happening. Lots of questions, too. You know, it's... Is Omega really force sensitive? <laughs> kind of lead in that direction. Still don't know quite yet, but we're. I'm trying. Hope we're gonna find out here soon. Yeah. Um. Who is that mysterious? You know, clone bounty hunter. I mean, we don't even know. It's just that the dude that stands out. You know who I'm talking about. We can't really oh, yeah. classify him as anything yet. Obviously, yeah, like the like the assassin clone. clone or whatever. Yeah, we would assume it's a clone, but mm. we really don't know who it is yet really excited to see who that is a couple people been going around about some people speculating but i'm assuming you might want to talk about that so what are your thoughts yeah right now, Logan? i mean obviously i don't i don't i don't see us getting that reveal anytime soon but True. a lot of people have said tech which i fully understand because the body it looks more similar to tech yeah and i just yesterday, I kind of had the the brain blast that I don't know why, but I, I never thought that it could possibly be Cody. And we know for a fact Cody has to have some sort of significance within this season as well. So yeah, definitely. I'm curious about that. Uh, obviously excited for this episode, ready to see the very beginning of this because we were left on not a cliffhanger, but on a very... Uh, emotional part so i'm excited for that and i i have a lot of other things but it's mainly just speculation for this episode so i it's all gonna get answered after we watch it and we'll then i'll be able to talk about it after so i'm yeah. i'm ready to get into it man so am i that's enough yapping let's go ahead and get into the episode i also saw in the uh in the like picture preview for the episode echo is in it so oh let's spoiler go. echo is back in that's a dub in this though. episode so rex may be in this one too yeah this episode is called the return a lot of people were saying that's for like echo coming back but i don't think they would call it that if they're going to put him in the in the preview for yeah the that would that would really make a lot of sense <laughs> Oh, we don't even get to see them. Oh, we don't get to see that interaction oh. that we left off on. How are they going to do that to us? I like the outfit. I do, too. Of course they're on Pabu. <laughs> oh, I love this place, <laughs> man. It's such a good place to live. <laughs> He's trying to learn how to nice keep his hand steady again. Yep. The training. <laughs> this is oh, insane. Yeah. We're seeing Crosshair miss. Sure you could look at your and knowing when you've got eyes on you. Give it time. But you will have to talk to them. I like that Omega is like the mediator of this. So do I. Glad to see you're back safe. What? Now hug for me. Depends <laughs> <laughs> how good your intel is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was actually hilarious. <laughs> no hug for me. <laughs> Imperial encryption will be a problem. Especially without tech. Plugging it into an Imperial terminal will bypass the encryption. Where do we get one of those? I know a facility. Remote. Understaffed. It shouldn't be a problem to infiltrate. Oh, no way. I just, I just had like a brain blast of where he's talking about, I think. Uh-huh. <laughs> Talking about the outpost, they're going to where the planet with Mayday. Yep. Don't hold it against. 
against him. He's only worried about you. I know. You think I should stay behind too? You're capable, but you are still a kid. I'm older than you are, <laughs> little brother. <laughs> I don't know. He laughed. He, he laughed. Did. He did. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, it never felt right to get rid of it. Ah, oh, man. Dude, this this episode's already hitting, I'm not gonna lie. It is, this episode's great. Hey, it does fit. <laughs> 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 he didn't think to warn us about these raiders before. Now they were all dealt with. And how do you know that? Take a guess. <laughs> Dude, that's so cold. If you're scared, why don't you wait on the ship? Hey, kill each other later. I said talk to him, not argue with him. <sighs> he started it. <laughs> 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 no, this is great. This dynamic between them is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why the Empire abandon this place? I guess it served its purpose. Hmm. So mm. <laughs> oh, is that? It is. Made his helmet. Yep. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Bro, that just hit me. That was that yeah, was like that was... a truck, bro. Ooh. Oh my god. Are you going to be my shadow everywhere? I know you. There's more you're not telling us. And I'm done waiting. What did you do to finally get on the Empire's bad side? Betray them, like you did with us? Tell me what changed. What happened, Crosshair? Come on. <laughs> I killed an Imperial officer. I tried to warn you, Hunter. I risked everything to send you that message. You ignored it. You let Omega be taken to Tantus. She went through what she did because you failed. You're angry because she escaped with my help, not yours. They're both wrong. Facts. Move. Okay. That's what was keep. <laughs> That's what the sensors were for. <laughs> yep. Not alone. We'll do it together. You sure about that? I'll spot you both from the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Echo. <laughs> yeah, no, they're they're both just like trying to get on each other's nerves. It seems like. For sure. Why? Why is there always a huge monster? <laughs> True. <laughs> I like record. Like, what? Like, he'll just do he's like just mad and stuff. You know? Yeah, like, he's just not having a good time. <laughs> like a mini rage moment. It's great. Found a weak point in the ice. We'll try to dig through. You'll try. Glad you heard me properly. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
That's some good stuff. Yep. The Empire never said anything about that thing. Nah, that thing's insane. <laughs> like, jeez, dude. Getting some trust back. Yep. Slowly but surely. <laughs> always work it out. I don't even see any blood this time. <laughs> Hunter. I I thought I knew what I was getting into with the Empire. I thought I was being a good soldier. Nobody really understood what was happening back then. I've done things. I've made mistakes. I have regrets too, Crosshair. All we can do is keep trying to be better. And who knows? There just might be hope for us yet. I can't, dude, I can't even say anything. I mean, what else, what do you want? I mean, I don't know, like, what to say. <laughs> like, it's just, we keep saying the same thing over and over again, man. I mean, this is, this is top tier. It's top tier. Dude. I don't know how many times I gotta keep saying it, but. The fact that this is like, you, I, I don't really want to say it like this, but it's kind of how it is. It's like a sequel to the Outpost episode. So that's what the return yeah. was. It was the return to this place. Yeah. And oh my god, dude. Just like the parallels of between this uh, and that episode. Oh yeah, they, they were very very similar. And oh my god, the the whole thing between Crosshair and Hunter of them like Hunter wants to know the significance of this place. And Crosshair just yep. cannot, he can't, he just can't say it. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that just shows how much trauma he actually has. It just showed right at the end there when he was talking to Hunter. Like, he actually said something, but it's still not even close to the full story. No, nah, no. Nah, I was really hoping he was going to bring up Mayday there. Mm -hmm. Um. He might down the line, maybe, but, but just seeing <laughs> when they were in that, when they were in like the bunker, and you know, he crosshair looked over, and I, immediately I knew it was Mayday Salmon he was looking at. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I knew it, and when he picked it up, man, that just you, you could tell it just. But he Mayday changed him. It I was truly, like he changed him. Like, it was such a crazy moment that he, like, he did that with Mayday's helmet, but then he started doing it with all the other ones yeah. there, too. Which yeah, is yeah. like, oh, my God. Because it, 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 then it just turned into it wasn't just, like, it's not just Mayday that he feels so strongly for now. Like, it's all yeah. of them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> I know for a fact we're going to get more, like, super touching stuff like that with crosshair as we go but that was just i can't wait that was unbearable <laughs> because like the outpost might be my favorite episode of bad batch like altogether. yeah it's and such a good one this one is this one's probably right up there with it now just because of it mm -hmm. being basically a sequel to it um i really like that Omega actually seems to have a very good relationship with Crosshair at this point. Yeah, definitely. Like they, 
it, it's you know it's always like the funny quips that <laughs> they always give to Omega. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it's and I, it is really good to see that they're all getting along with her and forming their own like types of relationships with her as well. And it's I just I like to see it because of how Crosshair kind of felt about her at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now to see that everything has sort of changed as time has gone on and he's went through different things. I I like the relationship that they have now. And that she's just like, she is the centerpiece between all of the Bad Batch now. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It... Uh, the character development is just insane. Like, it's... <laughs> Out of every single one of them, man, it just, it's it's beautiful because, I mean, just, I mean, we keep bringing up kind of, but like, you know, just seeing them from the first time we've seen them to now, it's like almost completely different characters. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, uh, I mean, they're, they're not, just so much more matured. Yeah, and they're not just soldiers anymore. They're mm-hmm. something bigger and more than that, so. And... I think the way that they took the character development has has been interesting. Like, I, I love the fact that, I mean, ever since the beginning when Crosshair turned, everyone was expecting some sort of redemption arc just because that's, that's how Star Wars is. <laughs> it's how it always will be. It is how it always will be, and I'll <laughs> always love it. Uh, but... I don't I don't think people expected it in this way at all. The fact that he he slowly over time st- started to to turn on the empire, realized the things that they were doing and it wasn't him that initially turned on the empire, it was like he said the empire turned on him first. That that is and true. The but the Empire turned on him first, but his first realization is with everything that happens with Mayday. Mm-hmm. And even some with Cody. Uh, and and the fact that now he's fully turned, but it wasn't simple. Like, now he has l- l- legit PTSD. Yeah. And yeah. it has completely changed his character. Like, he he does not have the confidence that he once had. No, and like you brought up earlier, I definitely, like, you know, with, like, his hands shaking, um, his shot not being as, you know, steady and as amazing as it was, I'm hoping he can hopefully get back to that form. Mm-hmm. Um. But I, I would definitely, like you said earlier, I would definitely like to see, like, I mean, obviously it was from all the testing that caused that. Um, well, that was going to be something that I was going to say. I'm curious what it actually is because yeah, it could have been from the from the testing, from his mind just being messed up, or maybe, maybe, all maybe, the maybe they purposely did it so he could not, like, like they mm-hmm. essentially took away his enhancement. Yeah, that could be true. I never thought about that. So, uh, or like the testing, the, the his Messed enhancement, up with this, yeah. yeah, his enhancement was kind of like a a byproduct, like it got taken away from the testing unintentionally. Yeah. Uh, but no, this, I, I, I keep saying it. I I feel like I say this every time when I'm watching Bad Batch, <laughs> where it's like I'm like oh. This is the best episode. This is the best episode. But I don't know. This really might be, though. This is up there. One of the best episodes, for sure. Because it just has that It has that outpost feel to it. Like, yep. that, that much significance, too. Because oh, of yeah. the, the, you know, the mending of the relationship with, with Crosshair and Hunter. And the, like the vulnerability that crosshair finally has like he's actually talking now mm. and it's obvious he still can't talk about it all 
Yeah, but he's I mean, a, yeah, he's he's at least trying to make an effort though. And and with things like Mayday, obviously you, I'd love to hear him bring it up, but because that was such like a pivotal moment for him, some things are like better left unsaid. Like that is that is that's true. something that he'll keep with him. That's very true. So I'm not sure that he'll, you know, reveal any of that. But he's obviously he's going he's going through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he's in he's in some rough he's in rough shape right now. Yeah. Like so, really rough shape. Uh, I think that's all I've got to say so far. Uh obviously I have plenty of questions for, for the future episodes, like stuff we talked about at the start. Uh but I I'm wondering if if this next episode actually next week is a is a double episode. Oh, let's go. So I w- I was going to say this, but now that it's a double episode, I feel like it's confirmed this is where we're going to see the empire make a tapabu. Yeah, yeah. Uh I mean, now now that they're back at Pabu, I I feel like it's almost a guarantee. Mhm. So Yeah, I agree, I agree. I feel like we're going to get a lot of that uh the clone assassin, maybe get some answers there. But I think next I week is is going to be a very big week. I don't know if I'm ready for that. And we're also with with this the end of this episode, we're officially a third of the way through the season. It's 15 episodes and we're through 5. So that's insane. Yeah, it's it's going by quickly already. Yeah, but it's like, I don't want it to go by quick, but at the same time, like, I want to know what happened. <laughs> you know yes. what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. The fact that, like, we, we're we going into this now with the knowledge that this is the final season. Anything can happen. No one is a guarantee to stay alive other than Rex. Mm-hmm. True. So I'm excited, but also terrified for everything. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be it for this reaction review let us know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below and be ready for next week with the double episode of the bad batch thank you guys for watching